A very good morning to all and welcome to our service for this, the fifth Sunday after Trinity. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Come, let us bless the Lord. Let us exalt God's holy name together. God the Most High takes care of us. We shall never be ashamed. Look to the Lord and let your light shine. Our God frees us from all our fears. Our God keeps guard over us and answers all our prayers. When the righteous cry out, God hears them and rescues them from all their troubles. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for being with us each and every day of our lives, especially being present with us in a special way as we gather to worship you today. We ask for your blessing upon us to be swift to answer our prayers, all those prayers that lay on our hearts. Be present with us and help us to honour you, to learn from you and to love you with all our hearts. 
with all our souls and with all our minds. Help us to love each other as we gather to worship you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And as our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ taught us, let us pray together the words of the family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. reading this morning is from Romans chapter 7. I do not understand what I do, for what I want to do I do not do, but what I hate I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is the sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For what I do is not the good I want to do. No, the evil I do not want to do. This I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me prisoner of the law at work within my members. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through our Lord Jesus Christ.
Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 11. Jesus said, To what can I compare this generation? They're like children sitting in the marketplace and calling out to others. We played the flute for you, you did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say he is a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
This is the Gospel of the Risen Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send your spirit into this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love. Send us power. Send us grace. Lord, we come unto you this day and we lift up our burdens unto you. We give you our worries, our anxieties, our fears, our tiredness and our pain. And we ask that you would remove them from us and put them in your burden and your yoke. Help us to learn from you and to rejoice in you, to serve you, so that we may find, find the rest that you promised to us. Make us your captives so that we might be truly free. Father, we come to you this day, not for ourselves, but for others, for those who do not know your peace for those who have not yet found any rest, for those who struggle with those things that we bring to you this day. We ask for your healing to be upon those who are sick, your strength to be with those who are tired, your wisdom and your love to be with those who live with despair and fear. Lord, hear our prayer for those who we lift before you now. Finally, O oh Lord, we pray for your blessing to be upon our churches within this ministry area, that your presence will always be seen vividly in what we do. We pray that your joy and your love will flow freely in us and through us as we take up your, your yoke and we follow you wherever that may lead. Today we ask all of these things with thanks and adoration through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, the
now in the power of the Holy Spirit, we go forth into the world to fulfil our calling as God's people, the body of Christ. So go in peace to love and to care for each other in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. May God's love fill you. May God's wisdom guide you. And may God's strength support and comfort you always, both now and evermore.